I have no idea how to break the silence after four entire months away from social media. It feels kinda terrifying to be back. It's like I'm stepping into a wild jungle after ages spent alone in a cave. Regardless, I am so, so excited to be back! I am shaking, but I'm alive. I am holding on so tight I'm a wreck but I am trying Can't you see? I love you, Moon! The moon is extremely beautiful tonight. This year was the rainiest summer and autumn I've ever experienced in my life. Veggies I had planted in the garden couldn't grow due to lack of sun, and the storm we wiped in August was brutal. It completely ravaged the path to the barn. With no other options, we had to dig in and fix it all by hand. Damn, that was so intense. It's been such a wild ride. The past months, <laughs> I went through several ego deaths and even a dark night of the soul. And I'm becoming overwhelmingly familiar with these constant internal cycles of death and rebirth. And at the same time, I've been wrestling with the idea of making a comeback on YouTube or not. But then, the universe, it just kept sending me signs, showing me that now, more than ever, humanity needs us, the light bearers. So here I am, ready to share not just my content, but my heart, my fears, and my hopes. There's something I didn't tell you yet. I finally released the one program I always wanted to see out there. I struggled my entire life with money and I became so passionate, driven about helping others overcome their financial struggles because no one deserves to live in scarcity. And it's about so much more than just making money. It's about healing our connection with money, reclaiming our sovereignty, crafting a killer strategy to financial freedom and reawakening the magic inside us. Really, it's about learning how to become divinely rich with money, material things, so that we can enrich our human experience and then positively impact those around us. I am so excited about this, about us humans reclaiming our power and reclaiming our birthright abundance. So I have the fear of public speaking and this is my first time filming myself and talking to this camera when there are people around and it's uh, a very good exercise, I guess. <laughs> I literally spent over three months creating my Money Alchemist program, which I'm so excited about. And it's really funny because it feels like I'm finally stepping out of my creative cocoon that felt like a dark cave a lot of times, to be honest, and I find myself craving, deeply craving, to go in the city, meeting people, having fun, going to the library, doing all these things that I, it's true, tend to not do.
I almost chopped this finger off. I'm okay, but I just wanted to share the fact that since I lost a finger as a child, every time I hurt one, even if it's not serious, my system automatically goes into panic mode and I have tears coming up and I'm just losing my self. So anyways, I've really got to be more focused when I handle some dangerous tools. Yeah, you know we say they are night owls and early birds and I'm definitely an early bird because to me the morning sun is the best sun ever. I love sunsets, but sunrise, there's something about the sun rising from the horizon every morning. I forgot about the fire again. I don't know why nothing seems to be working today. I feel like a child because I love my new slippers. Last winter I got some really nasty chill blades. So these are going to be very useful for my cold feet in winter. And here we are. Last harvest this year. It's getting cold. I can't wait to touch the snow with my bare hands. It's been forever since I've really hung out with someone I could call a friend and I often joke about my lack of friends but if I'm being honest it's really starting to weigh on me there's this part of my soul that's yearning to connect share secrets and learn from like-minded people so that's why I decided to join a woman's circle it's a bit of a drive from where I am I feel like it's something I need to do, a step I need to take. I'm hopeful it'll be worth it. On another note, my relationship with my beloved is going through some beautiful changes. I'm incredibly grateful for him in my life. He is so wonderfully open-minded and kind. We've spent countless hours discussing how to nurture and sustain our bond. We've agreed that living in separate homes might be the best step forward for us. It might sound unconventional, but we know it will enrich our relationship. It redefines our togetherness. Living apart from each other means that our time together is a choice, not just a routine then each moment we share becomes this deliberate act of love and connection. I can't wait to see where this decision is taking us. 